My grandmother went blind when I was in medical school and focused my efforts on developing a computer chip that goes inside the eye to restore sight. Unbelievable. And that is USC's Dr. Marky Mayan at the White House recently to accept the nation's highest honors in the fields of science and technology. Dr. Hugh Mayan's work uses prosthesis to help restore sight to the blind. Among other accomplishments, he's led the team that developed the first bionic eye approved for use in the U.S. And Dr. Hugh Mayan joins us now to talk about all these amazing accomplishments. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank and you I know you see you have a model there, and we have your medal here from President Obama. Um, Maybe you could explain to us in layman's terms what it is that you invented. Well, normally in the eye, the light is focused by the cornea and the lens onto the retina and sent to the uh, brain by this optic nerve. What happens in these conditions is the retina is damaged, so it can't sense the light. And what the chip does is wirelessly communicate the otherwise blind eye to a camera, enabling the blind person to see. Unbelievable. And it's mostly for degenerative eyes, um, for older age eyes. Degenerative yeah, this disease. is for an inherited retinal degeneration, okay. which damages the light sensing cells. Yeah, can we talk about the inspiration behind this, by the way? Well, my grandmother went blind um, when I was in medical school, and really made me focus on this area, and in particular, try to help people with vision problems. Amazing. Was she alive to see you do this, or is it in her honor? Uh, well, it's in her honor. Yeah, that's wonderful. We didn't, we didn't make it. Uh, she passed away before the device was developed. She's smiling down yes, and, and exactly. seeing the wonderful things you've done. Um, tell us about what perhaps is on the horizon, and what, what can you, where can you go from here? Well, the exciting thing is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Right now, the blind people can see large objects and move around, but... We're hoping that we can get color vision restored oh. uh, and also reading vision uh, so they can read small print and watch television. And I wanted to ask you, Dr. Hine, <laughs> about what was it like going to the White House and receiving this Medal of Honor from President Obama? I mean, when you learned you were re the recipient and then going there, I mean... Well, it, it was really amazing. I was completely uh, surprised. It's, it's a great honor to meet the president, and it's a great honor to get this award. So I was thrilled, and it was an exciting uh, and very vibrant type of ceremony. I could imagine. And you continue to do lots of things. You have yes. 100 patents under your name. You're so busy, and you look like you're 20. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not in the sunlight at all, are you? <laughs> That's right. That helps. <laughs> what about just old age? You know, that I can't see without holding my arms way out here. Is that going to get any easier? I think that's an exciting area. Okay. It's a difficult area, but it's an exciting area, how to change the lens so you can actually what's called a Accommodate. Wouldn't that be great? Can you imagine? All right. Well, Dr. Mark Humayun, thank you so much for joining us today. Certainly insightful, and I'm not trying to be funny and clever, but it was just, it's, I'm blown away by that technology. Yeah, it's well, really thank neat. you for having me. And I wouldn't trust her holding that. She might know, take I, off I, of I, that. I, I, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Nice thank you. honor to have you here. Thank you again.